touch, pressure, vibrations, temperature, and pain. Out of all these physical sensations, what's the most underappreciated sensation? Undoubtedly, everyone's least favorite is the physical pain. But deep inside, we know that pain is our friend, and it's there to protect us. Some diabetic patients with nerve damage don't notice small wounds in the legs until they become severe enough to threaten life. And heart attacks go unnoticed in a condition called silent myocardial infarctions. While we seem to underappreciate the physical pain, there is a rare disorder called congenital insensitivity to pain, or CIP, which is also known as congenital analgesia, in which the patient cannot feel any physical pain. It's so dangerous that most people with CIP die in their childhood due to unnoticed injuries like burns. Pain is a perception created by the brain, but it's not where the pain is initiated. Nociceptors are specialized pain receptors that are located in and around our skin, muscles, joints, and internal organs. Its duty is to detect mechanical, chemical, or thermal injuries. Nociceptors have a specialized sodium channel called NAV1.7. This channel will allow sodium ions to come into the cell and activate it. If this channel stops working, the nociceptor stops working. The activated nociceptor sends signals along nerves and the spinal cord to the brain part called thalamus. Thalamus creates the experience of pain, but it cannot localize the area of the pain. Therefore, it sends signals to the somatosensory cortex of the brain to help us know where the pain is coming from. A rare mutation in the gene called SCN9A will result in abnormal NAV1.7 sodium channels in the nociceptors. Without the influx of sodium ions, nociceptors fail to send signals to the brain when there's tissue injury. This is the mechanism of CIP. CIP is inherited in autosomal recessive fashion, meaning you need to have two copies of the mutated gene to get the disease. If you have only one mutated gene, you will act as a carrier but will not get the disease. Patients with CIP present in unusual ways. Some bite off the tip of their tongue, whereas some come with burns, wounds, and even bone fractures. They will not know when a foreign object is trapped in the eye until it causes corneal damage and vision problems. The diagnosis is made mostly with clinical history and physical examination. Genetic testing can be used to trace the carriers. Though we are far away from finding a definitive cure for this disease, we have found some success with naloxone, an opiate antagonist. It increases pain sensitivity by blocking naturally occurring opiates at the level of the spinal cord. I'm hopeful that we will find a definitive cure in the future with the help of gene therapy. So, after learning about this dreadful condition, do you still hate pain? Let us know in the comments section. I'll see you soon with another episode of Interesting Medical Cases.